In central Kenya, local Sei people are being driven away from their homes by a cactus. Many people have moved out because their goats and cattle are dying. The people of Ilpoloi and Munashoi are fleeing to other places. Many have left. The Opuntia cactus has spread like a weed, killing off thousands of acres of grassland. Rancher Margaret Mamai says it has destroyed her livelihood. If goats eat the cactus and its fruit, their eyes and mouth are affected. The most affected one is sheep. If it eats the cactus, there is no treatment. It dies. Now there is no place for them to graze. Mama is fighting back by breeding microorganisms that feed on the cactus. But Kenyan authorities say they will need to use laboratories to produce the quantities required to wipe out the problem plant. That's what we are lacking, to produce those microorganisms so that they can be spread all over for them to reduce the, the point. But it's a very slow method. But it is not just microorganisms that can feed on the cactus. At this community centre, the cactus fruit are crushed to make juice and wine. The seeds are dried and the oil is extracted for making cosmetics. The health of human beings is good. The only problem is for the animals, the spines. It's stuck in the animals. But for the juice and the, the fruit, you can also eat the fruits. good for human use. But getting enough consumers to see the cactus as a food source is a challenge. Meanwhile, for ranchers like Mamai, the Opuntia is simply a way to be destroyed. Mohamed Yusuf for VOA News, Il Poloi, Kenya.